Welcome back to another refreshing episode of Curious Kids. I'm your host, Edmund Halley. Have you ever wondered how water moves from the ocean to the sky and back to the land? Today, we're going to dive into the water cycle, a process that's always happening around us and is super important for life on Earth. Let's explore how water travels through the atmosphere, land, and oceans. Chapter 1. What is the water cycle? The water cycle is the continuous movement of water through the environment. It moves from the surface of the Earth to the atmosphere and back again. Water travels in different forms, liquid, gas, and solid, and it's always cycling through different stages like evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. When the sun heats up water from oceans, lakes, and rivers, it turns into water vapor, which rises into the sky. This process is called evaporation. As the water vapor cools, it forms clouds in a process called condensation. Eventually, the water falls back to the earth as precipitation, like rain or snow. Hey, curious kids. Before we continue our journey through the water cycle, I've got something important to ask. Are you enjoying learning about how water moves around the earth? Want to keep discovering cool science facts with us every day? Then make sure to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll join the curious kids and never miss out on our awesome science adventures. We're always exploring something new, and you won't want to miss a single episode. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay in the loop. Great! Now that you're part of the curious kids, let's dive deeper into the water cycle. Chapter 2. The Role of Precipitation and Collection Precipitation is when water falls from clouds as rain, snow, sleet, or hail. Once it reaches the ground, water collects in rivers, lakes, oceans, or even underground. This stage is called collection, and it's where water gathers before starting the cycle again. Some of the water is absorbed by plants and animals, and some flows back into the oceans to begin the cycle again. The water cycle is always happening, keeping our planet's water supply in balance. Chapter 3. The Importance of the Water Cycle The water cycle is essential for life on Earth. It provides fresh water for plants, animals, and humans. Without the water cycle, we wouldn't have rain to water crops, fill rivers, or provide us with drinking water. The water cycle also helps regulate our climate by moving heat around the planet. It's a natural system that's been working for millions of years, keeping Earth's water supply fresh and constantly moving. The water cycle is a fascinating process that connects all parts of our planet, from the oceans to the clouds and back to the land. It's nature's way of recycling water ensuring that life on Earth has the water it needs to thrive. So today, we learned that the water cycle is made up of key stages like evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and collection. It's a continuous process that provides water for all living things and helps keep our planet in balance. And now for a splashy joke before we go, what's a cloud's favorite drink? Fruit punch. Thanks for watching, curious kids. Don't forget to stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you in the next adventure.